You're watching New York Sports Nation Nightly. You, you don't reach and draft a quarterback because Joe and Gene Q, uh, Giant fan, want you to draft a quarterback. Mm-hmm. Or it would serve your job security if you're the head coach or the general manager because it's a reset. You draft a quarterback if you're the Giants, if you absolutely love and adore that quarterback. And without a shadow of a doubt, that then this organization becomes that 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 young man's organization right because it's no longer about daniel jones we're a far cry away from tommy cutlets and tommy devito it's about that individual so that's the decision that the general manager now you could move up i mean say uh, yeah. you know say if the chicago bears are like you know we're happy with justin fields you want to give up the draft collateral to go to the number one overall pick then you'll have your pick of williams may or or daniels coming out of lsu uh, but that would be my only advice to Shane and, and the, the leaders of the Giants within that organization. Don't succumb to the public pressure. You don't necessarily have to draft a quarterback. If it's not this year, maybe it's next year, or maybe as an organization you wholeheartedly believe that Daniel Jones is the guy. If you build a robust offensive line around him, then you can win. After all, last year they did win. They went to the playoffs and beat the Minnesota Vikings in, the, in, in a playoff game. But if you feel like there's a ceiling to his game, and there's somebody that you love and adore, you draft that player. But you don't draft a quarterback. It means you say to yourself, we need to draft a quarterback. I think you're right. You have to move up to get one of those much um, more generational type talents. But at the same time, they picked that sixth in 2019, and they picked the quarterback. Well, they took Daniel Jones. Yeah, for sure. Duke, which Duke. wasn't the best pick at that sixth slot that they could have taken. No, no, I, I get all that, and I understand that it's fair. Now, for general manager Joe Shane, you don't compound the problem. Right. You know, like, like, he made a mistake in the past as an organization. He wasn't running it. It was Dave Gettleman. But now, if you're the general manager, you say, well, I got to love that guy. And if I need to move up to go get that guy, then who is a generational talent, then you go up and get him. 